My name is Matt Hicks, and I'm Vice President of Software Engineering at Red Hat. That means I get to sit in the process of building our products and also working with customers on how they use them. And it is a fantastic place to get to be in the middle of that, of not just um, seeing things built, but really seeing how we can bring value to our customers and work with them to bring their innovation back into our products and into the open source communities. It's a really interesting time right now between development and infrastructure. And we're, we're focusing a lot on development because we see this opportunity to make developers just more effective than they ever have been before. And it's not just in writing the line of code or their ID tools, but really making them effective from the first line of code they write all the way to their production deployment. And that's that unique combination of both the development tools combined with a lot of the infrastructure experience we have. And we think it's really going to change the market. Containers are really central to this change. You hear a lot about the efficiency that containers bring to production, and, and I think that's great. They encapsulate workloads really well, and they provide a lot of operational efficiency. But the power of taking something like Eclipse J and in a single click mimicking your production environment in a hosted IDE, it is amazing on the development side. I spent several years in IT, and one of our biggest challenges was getting those development environments to mimic prod. And containers is this glue technology that can connect the development efficiencies with your production efficiencies. And I think that will really change how we do work in this field. Microservices, I think you're seeing this resurgence in it because you have a combination of technologies that can make it real, to be honest. We've talked about this pattern for a long time. And one of the challenges was we had the development patterns. We didn't have the infrastructure to support it. And now you're seeing the infrastructure capabilities with things like containers. You're seeing the software stack, whether it's circuit breaker patterns and the monitoring. And then you're seeing that development pattern realized. And I think that's created just a lot of the excitement around it's a great way to build applications. And now it is something that isn't just in theory. We can actually take this to production and make real, applic real applications, real mission critical workloads on it. It is a great time to be a developer these days. But one of the challenges that comes with that is the rate of change in technology. It is relentless right now. And I think that can be overwhelming for people where they want to use this technology. They know it can be impactful, but they don't have the time to learn it all well enough to really use it to their advantage. And our response at Red Hat is finding that balance of, we obviously know the technology well, we package the technology, and we ship it, but we're focused on how do we bring that to developers in a way where they can start using it without having to understand every detail of how it works. And from our developer studio to introducing new IDEs and new language services, our goal is to find that developer that loves the new technology and get them started in 30 seconds, where they don't have to know all the aspects, but they can learn it as they have time to really let them utilize it from day one.